everybody, welcome to another Spotlight with Wildlife Ambassadors. We have a little hint of who we've got here in this little tunnel. This is another one of our really cute ambassadors. We're gonna see if we can peek and see who that is. This fella gets a really bad reputation, I'm afraid, but he's absolutely an adorable animal who's native to your very own backyard. So this is Cotton. Cotton is a striped skunk who is one of the ambassadors here at Wildlife Ambassadors. He is non-releasable. Uh, this guy is an imprinted skunk, which means that he's extremely used to people. So he actually does not have the skills to be able to survive in the wild. One of the first things people ask, of course, is will he spray? He can't spray, he is descented. But more than that, a wild skunk isn't just about spraying. There's so many cool things about these animals that are native to our backyards. And one of them is that they're really important in our backyard ecosystem. This little guy here is known for eating things such as mice, voles. He's a huge bug eater, so you may be able to see his claws down here. Those claws help him, and they'll get into rotted logs like this and dig at them to get out termites, they'll eat ground hornets, so they're very, very helpful. But the other thing that makes them amazing is you're looking at a predator of venomous snakes. Most people don't realize that about our neighborhood skunks, but skunks are actually really good predators because they're immune to the venom. They're actually able to, um, their body's able to deal with the venom and they do not get sick, so they have an immunity to it. So how does the spray work? First of all, these guys give warnings. So their first warning, believe it or not, is their color. The black on white is a flag that does say, hey, back off, don't get close. If an animal doesn't listen, this little fella has other things that he can do. So he will actually use his feet. They like to stomp their feet and they'll stomp their feet at an animal, making themselves look big and bad and aggressive even though they're not. This is one thing that can help them. The other thing that will happen is if a predator ignores this and does not uh, heed their initial warning, he is going to raise his tail. If he raises his tail, the next thing, you guessed it, an animal that doesn't back off is going to be in trouble. This guy can spray and he has a pretty good target range. He can hit something from about 10 feet away. Well, there's lots of different chemicals in a skunk spray, but one of the ones that most people are familiar with is sulfur. And sulfur is what does tend to give that skunk a very bad smell. But all in all, this is a great backyard neighbor that we share our properties and our woods and our meadows with. So we're always happy to see skunks around because if left alone, these guys are super beneficial, great backyard wild neighbors. Join us for another ambassador next time.